what's up everyone welcome back to my channel it is your girl Ada Eze back at it again with another video in today's video I'm going to be giving you my five tips of what to do when you are about to go braid your hair now um well I live in Johannesburg and I do know that they are a couple of natural hair salons so basically just salons that cater to natural hair so they know how to handle that hair but they are expensive and i'm not trying to use my money and use my coin to go to these salons because the prices are ridiculous they are unreasonable and yeah nah i'm cheap so you know we gotta do what we gotta do personally i like my braids to look good sharp and i want my hair to be protected under it and i also don't want my hair to be braided tightly but i'm also not going to spend 600 rand on shoulder length braids it doesn't make sense to me if i want to add more length then i need to add more money mm, i don't get it i know that is a job and you have to feed someone but i have a stylist she works in hillbrow i love what she does for my hair her and i have an understanding okay my hair is a specific way but i also try to listen her work and that is what i'm about to talk to you about so i'm going to be looking at my phone because i have my notes on there so the first thing i'm going to say you should do is to wash and deep condition at home everyone knows that i either do a protein treatment or i deep condition at home the reason why i do not wash my hair at the specific salon that i go to is because it is a generic salon they use generic shampoo on everyone's head and i don't know what brand that is it could have parabens it could have sulfates i don't know that so i prefer to wash my hair at home with the shampoo that I like and I prefer to deep condition my hair with a product that I like that in a sense also lessens my stylist's work she doesn't have to do all that extra stuff and if you have been to kind of like an African salon let me just say that or an African stylist what they do is they wash your hair they just condition it with whatever um, if you do want to deep condition they also have like the generic deep condition treatment and then they put your head under a hooded dryer and that's it but also for them to dry your hair they blow dry your hair at freaking 100 degrees celsius <laughs> i know that's not true but they're not going to use a cool setting they're not going to put heat protectant on your hair because remember this is not a natural hair salon so they're just going to do things the way they're used to doing them so it's going to be very high they're going to be burning your hair and all that stuff so i prefer to wash my hair at home let it air dry naturally like it always does and then you know then i'll go to the salon and i don't wash my hair there i just opt not to do it that's just my personal preference and i think that helps a lot especially because we use specific products unless you're going to be that nitpicky person who's going to go with your shampoo your conditioner your no i think that's unnecessary just wash your hair at home and then let it be so the other thing that i would advise you to do is since they do blow dry your hair at the salon i advise you to stretch and detangle your hair yourself so once you um finish washing your hair i say detangle twist it up and let it dry in the twists when the twists are dry you can untwist it and just make sure it is detangled and stretched out and it's dry because nine times out of ten I'm telling you that if your hair is at its shrunken state your stylist is going to want to stretch it I don't know why they do that but they always do that okay and even if I have detangled and stretched my hair she still goes in with a dryer but I always ask her to put on a cool setting um, personally and even if she's going to put on a cool setting I always always go with my heat protector okay go with your heat protector spray serum whatever spray it on your hair 
just in case they do dry your hair okay most of the time i'll be like no my hair is stretched out you don't need to do anything to it and she's cool with that but sometimes she does feel like it needs to be a little stretched out a little bit more i always ask her please put it on a cooler setting and i also put on my heat protectant so that's just another tip i'll give you that if you have already blow dried and stretched out your hair yourself it just leaves that extra you know um extra step out also if you detangle your hair you're more patient with your hair you're going to take time you're going to do it section by section your hairstylist is not going to do that honey your hairstylist is not going to take a white tooth comb and try to detangle your afro they're going to take a rat tail comb and they're going to start at the base of your hair and rip out all your hair so <laughs> honestly i am talking from experience so please please detangle your own hair okay get those knots out yourself stretch it out. i am speaking from a lot of experience especially when you are transitioning going to a normal african salon no one cares no one has the patience for your hair i always carry my tangle teaser and my white tooth comb and my leave-in conditioner so when i get there i just further just detangle my hair really quick and when she does you know dry my hair on a cool setting um it's not that much work and sometimes i will give her my white tooth comb and say hey rather use this to dry my hair so just have a kind of relationship with your stylist if your stylist is not a fussy person um, have that relationship because I obviously won't go to someone who doesn't care about the health of my hair Even if it is a cheaper option I will not go to someone who doesn't care about the health of my hair and I just have that relationship with my stylist Where you know, she knows that okay. This is how I like my hair to be done, which brings me to my third point be specific with your stylist and tell your stylist how you want to be braided I cannot stress this enough okay you need to be very specific when it comes to your natural hair just don't be a nag about it obviously like I said I just have that relationship with my stylist where I will tell her don't braid my hair too tight and she knows that she knows already that okay I'm tender headed besides that I don't want you freaking pulling my hair putting you know attention on it and um, it's just bad like I'm gonna lose my hair so I always ask her please don't braid it too tightly I don't get that whole thing of your hair needs to be braided tightly for it to last longer that doesn't make any sense I want healthy hair just don't braid my hair tight I got my hair braided on Friday right now I am filming and it's a Sunday and I'm able to put my hair in a bun if you can't put your hair in a bun the next day after you get your hair braided off i'm not saying you have to put your hair in a bun because you need to remember that there was tension applied to your hair so your hair will be weaker but i'm just saying that if you can't put your hair in a bun the next day or two days after remember i braided my hair on friday yesterday was saturday i was still able to put my hair up in a ponytail and it didn't hurt if you cannot do that to your hair your stylist braided your hair way too tight those are facts I can do this I am NOT feeling any pain I don't feel like it's too heavy it's lightweight that means my hair isn't braided too tight okay so please make sure you can do that if you're leaving that salon and your hair is in pain and you have to take painkillers and you can't sleep and you have to sleep at the angle you know that your hair is braided way too tight so I'm always specific even if I have to remind her ten times even if she's Pulling on one part, I always say, please loosen up the braid. But because she's been doing my hair for a while now, she already knows how I like my hair to be done. Which brings me to my fourth point. You know that saying, the early bird catches the fattest worm and strike the rod while it's still hot. Uh, yeah, um, go to your stylist while it's early. Try to be your stylist's first client i always always try to make an appointment for 8 a.m because i know they open at 8 a.m she's gonna be there at 8 a.m and i'm gonna be her first customer the reason why i try to be my stylist's first customer is because if i'm gonna go there at six in the evening 
and they close at like eight i'm gonna be like her last customer she's braided probably like 10 to 15 heads already on that day or she's braided like five other people she's been standing for hours she is tired she is not going to listen to you when you want specific stuff she's not going to listen to you when you're like please take a white tooth comb to tangle my hair please don't use high heat please because she's going to be impatient with your hair i'm sorry that is a fact she's going to be impatient she's trying to finish she's trying to go home she's tired she's been standing the whole day you do not want to go to your stylist when she's tired okay go as early as possible because she is more inclined to be patient with you when she hasn't worked on that many heads on that day that is my advice for you go early go when your stylist still has energy go when your stylist has, still has patience go when your stylist is you know is, is is willing to listen to you at the time of the day because you need to remember that after she's touched so many people's heads she's tired she's tired her hands are tired like olapi limuto agasidi selo so I always I have her number and I have her on WhatsApp so I always text her blessing tomorrow morning can I come if she says no ne, I would rather go on a day that she is available in the morning or I go still in the day when I braided my hair on Friday it was 11 a.m. so she'd only worked on I think one other person because the girl also was getting box braids done so you know she's been working on her for about five hours and then i got there at like 11 and i got there and i immediately took out my tangle teaser and my leave-in conditioner and i started detangling my hair and when i was done i put on my serum then when she was done with the girl she sat me on her chair quickly hair dried my hair then we started braiding my hair and you know if she was holding it too tight, I'll tell her, please loosen the braid. She knew exactly what I wanted. I told her, this is the kind of partings I want. Um, one thing is, when I do want thick braids, I also mentioned to my stylist, please do not grab a small section of hair, nah, and then you put, like, this big piece. Because remember, adding extensions to your hair adds weight. And if your stylist is going to take out this small section, and put such a thick braid it's also going to apply tension to your hair whether it's tight or not yeah your hair is going to break off sweetie so um i also mentioned that please make the sections bigger as you can see here's the braid here's the section the sections are a little bit bigger so that is my advice strike while the road is still hot ellie bird catches the fat and be there on time if you make your appointment for 8 a.m and you get there at 8 30 and your stylist has already started braiding someone it's just not gonna work so try to be there early try to get there before your stylist try to get there before they even open up the shop that's just me i feel like be there go early make your appointment don't get there while they're braiding someone else you know you're gonna have to wait until they're done unfortunately sorry right so and remember um if i'm going to the salon i'm going to which is in hillborough remember i had my hair okay let me just take it down so my hair is long um i didn't opt for shoulder length so let me just try show you this is how long my hair is it comes up literally just below my waist so remember that this is a lot of work for your stylist to do because remember it is longer and that's why i'm not gonna go to natural hair salons because they would have charged me like 800 to do my hair and my stylist only charged me 250 for labor and i bought the hair myself so that was my expense and it still came up to under 500 it was like 450 because i bought four packs of expression so i say um yeah if you just have that relationship with your stylist then that's really good she knows that i'm a customer who's always coming back i always do my hair by her so you know her and i like i didn't even try to negotiate i asked her i want to do this i want them to be long how much she was like 250 i was like great she's like just buy your own hair sorted it takes out me paying 600 and paying an extra 200 for extra length like no one has the time um there's some salons natural hair salons they'll charge you like 300 
to treat your hair um i'll do it at home thank you very much so yeah um just try to build a relationship with your stylist when i used to live in pretoria i had a specific stylist i went to to braid my hair now that i live in Joburg, there's a specific lady i see only her if she's not there then i'm gonna make an appointment for the day she's there and i'll just have to suck it up and live with my natural hair for a while that's just it because if i go to someone different and they just don't understand my hair the way she does because she has already done my hair a lot more times so she knows what i want and that's it okay and then it brings me to my last tip which is obviously the aftercare of your hair if you do notice i always tell my stylist please do not grab my edges so that's when i do go out just to neaten them up just to just put some gel on them brush them and that's it and also you are going to need to still moisturize your hair um it doesn't mean that you because your hair is in you know a protective style you shouldn't do anything to it especially because you're adding extensions to it remember that hair fiber tends to suck the moisture out of your natural hair so your hair will be dry so every day without fail there is a spray bottle that has water and my leave-in conditioner in it i spritz it and almost every second night i you know just oil my scalp a little bit um every night as well i take my native child castor oil and i put it around my edges and the nape of my hair that's what i do just to make sure that my edges are still healthy and i'm not losing them and also my hair is moisturized so remember okay remember those five tips i just gave you <laughs> those tips will help you in the long run especially if you are like me and you're not willing to spend 600 to do your hair i'm sorry you know i've done my hair i'm not gonna name and shame but i've done my hair at a very well-known salon my hair turned out great my hair was healthy i you know my hair wasn't braided too tightly but for shoulder length hair i had to pay 500 using their fiber right and if i wanted to add more length it was an extra 200 every I think it was every five centimeters or something like that so I'm like okay if my hair is still here and I want to add about another 10 centimeters that's basically how long my hair is that means I have to pay an extra 400 that's 900 to do my hair what what I was like no hell no so I've always worked with blessing um, and yeah there are some salons that will also offer you a free wash if you're already doing your hair but like i said i'm not all for the big bottle generic shampoo that i don't know the brand i don't know what's in it so rather do all those things by yourself and yeah that concludes my video please make sure to comment down below what are the steps you take when you go do your hair or if there is actually a natural hair salon that you know that is affordable okay reasonable prices okay i'm not saying doing your hair for 500 is expensive it's just what am i getting for that amount remember i'm a student so saving an extra 50 bucks is a lot okay that 50 bucks is data that 50 bucks is coffee that listen that 50 bucks is a lot so comment down below if you do know of anyone who you know can actually do your hair really well if you have natural hair like mine or the steps you take before you go do your natural hair okay and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to click the subscribe button okay i know you're always here watching my video and you do not click that button please please click the button okay okay now, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Deuces.